everybody welcome back to my channel I'm Yasha if you're new here if you've been here before thank you so much for coming back I really appreciate it today I wanted to talk about radiology leadership this is of course coming off the heels of ACR 2020 which was totally virtual I recently was elected for the position of ACR RFS education liaison on the executive board so I'm so excited for that um, I didn't expect to win so I'm so excited and we're gonna do so many big things this year but because of that, I wanted to talk a little bit about leadership in radiology, especially at the med student level, because it can be kind of confusing or hard to get in. And I wanted to offer some ideas for you to get involved if you're interested. Now, the reason I wanted to do this video is because I really worry that so many people are so caught up with this idea that they need so much leadership in radiology organizations to successfully match into radiology. It's not true. Um, you don't need that. And that's why I wanted to make this video. I just wanted to tell you that, that like you don't need to be involved with the ACR, the SIR, or the RSNA to successfully match into radiology. We want to see that you are a leader and we want to see that you're able to be a leader and that you are interested in being a leader. But that doesn't mean you have to be a leader in like the SIR already as a medical student. You don't. You can be involved with anything and be a leader, right? I was a captain of a dance team. I would argue that that takes more leadership skills than a lot of things that are radiology related. I recently announced that the RSNA has started the task force, which is so exciting. Um, but for everyone who messaged me saying that they're interested, I'm so appreciative that you have messaged me and I've taken your name down. We have a spreadsheet for people who are interested. Even though the roster is now closed, like I have your names and your emails. But I don't want any of you to feel like you're not going to get where you want to go because I'm not able to put you on our task force. That's just not the case. I obviously want you all to have the ability to put something radiology related on your application and there are so many ways to go about that. The major thing I would suggest is looking into the ACR medical student committee as well as well as the SIR because the SIR I know has so many med students plugged into so many different committees and even if you're interested in diagnostic radiology that's a great place to start. I would definitely still figure out a way to get involved with the SIR as a medical student. I think that's probably the best way to get involved. They just have so much going on for medical students. And it will not hurt you if you're di even if you're applying only for diagnostic radiology. The ACR also has a medical student outreach subcommittee or something of that nature with a lot of medical students on it. And there's a form you can fill out to show that you're interested. Don't be discouraged if you don't hear back. This is a major thing. Between all three organizations, don't ever be discouraged if you don't hear back. I can't tell you the number of times I have filled out things and never heard a peep. Whatever. It's nothing. It's just like, I would just forget about it, fill out the form again, maybe they didn't get it, and then try to find other ways to get involved because it's not a big deal. You know, it's, it's not a big deal. Um, other ways that you can get involved as a medical student in terms of leadership would obviously be like medical student council. That is a leadership position that we like to see. Some people are on admissions committees. If you're on in your interest group, if you are the chair or the president, whatever, some interest groups even have like secretary, treasurer, things like that. Those are all leadership positions and we value them all. There's nothing that we are like, oh, this is better and this is worse. We like to hear about all of your experiences, even things outside of medicine. Like how I was talking about my dance team, that took leadership. Um, whatever you do is a hobby that could be if you're a musician I mean everything takes teamwork and leadership responsibility I want to talk about like sports teams those all require leadership positions I'm talking about music and dance because like that's what I did but obviously that's not relatable to everybody but like sports and any other extracurriculars that you've done outside of medicine I want to say those all count so don't feel sad or upset that like maybe you didn't get involved with a radiology organization as a med student because you are gonna have so many opportunities as a resident I would not worry about it at all it will not affect your ability to match that I promise as long as you are a true leader you are someone who's interested in leadership you will find a way to prove that you're a leader and you will find a way to show that on the application that's really what we care about is did you do something that will make you into a good leader and that's what we really want to see if you really like want to be involved with some sort of organization think about things also like the AMA um, ACP state radiology societies I mean there are so many ways that you can get involved that are outside of just RSNA ACR and SIR that maybe might even pique your interest a little bit more you might be able to do more interesting or different projects 
that you otherwise wouldn't be able to do. So I wouldn't discount any of those things and I'm sure that all of you have already looked into those things. Um, and if you have run for something and you didn't get it, please don't be discouraged. I really want you to try again. I would say that there are only probably a few people who have tried with something once and gotten it and that's been the end for them. There has been, I bet every single person has struggled in some way or another, has run for something and failed. I ran last year for this similar position. I didn't get it. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Everyone fails. Everyone doesn't always win. That was a lesson I had to teach myself too. And if you're in that position, that's okay. Just try again because Honestly, those who are rewarded in the end are persistent. And if that shows in your application, like I am very persistent, I didn't get this, I didn't get this, but I kept trying and then I got that, that really speaks volumes to me as someone reading your application. That really means a lot. Like, okay, this person is not gonna give up on their first try. So that's my point, is just don't worry so much about being involved in a big organization, just focus on developing yourself into a leader in whatever capacity that is for you as a medical student. I hope that helped you understand if you need to be a part of a big organization in order to match into radiology, the answer is no. You can just do leadership at your medical student level at whatever level that interests you and you will, if you have a good passion for doing leadership like activities, you have good passion for radiology, I promise that good things will come your way. But don't be discouraged if you can't find a position that you really want, if you run for something you lose, please be persistent, please continue trying. Those are the types of people we need in radiology. With that, I will end the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, sit on the leg. Let's do this video again for like the bazillionth time. Can anybody see me? Can you guys see me? Okay, it's not a big deal. I don't know, does that kind of make sense? Maybe I'm like not being clear. Ew, I literally just start, started over my video because of this piece there. I, I'm like really, this is not a good, not a good day to record a video. I'm really struggling today. I'm really like,